What is mindfulness? Mindfulness is a state of mind in which you are being aware, being non-judgmental, and being non-reactive. It's just like riding a bicycle in which you are in balance, yet in motion, and knowing how to stop at any time. Being mindful is fully appreciating yourself, what is happening around you, what you are doing, and where you are in space at any given point in time. Practicing mindfulness can help reduce stress, anxiety, pain, depression, insomnia, and even high blood pressure. Practicing mindfulness by being mad. Mindfulness can be cultivated through Zen Cat's simple but proven mad techniques. So what is mad? In short, mad is the acronym for meditate, appreciate, and distance. 1. Meditate. Meditation is a skill. It is training and awareness and getting a healthy sense of perspective. It's about approaching thoughts and feelings around us without judgment and in warmth. A step-by-step -step guide is provided towards the end of the video. 2. Appreciate. Focus on the things you have and instead of the things you do not have. If something gives you anxiety at work or in life, like a big speech, provide a reason to be thankful for the opportunity or focus on a positive outcome. For example, you can set a reason as an opportunity to share life experiences before your big speech or take care of your body before heading to the gym. Keeping a gratitude journal by jotting down the three best things that happened today is also a good practice. Throughout the day, randomly wish for someone to be happy. You don't have to verbally tell the person, you just have to set the positive energy for the day ahead. Try it on your way to work, at the office, at the gym, or while you wait in a queue. Bonus points if you find yourself annoyed or upset with someone and you stop and mentally wish them happiness instead. Three, distance. If you start to feel anxious about something, take a short five minute break. Do something simple that delights you, like doodling, going for a walk, chill, simply sipping a cup of coffee, staring out your window, or just looking up into the sky and let the cosmos remind you that life is bigger than your worries or inbox. You can create distance by doing a digital detox for a day as well. Try to log out of all your social media accounts and leave your phone behind for a day. How to meditate. Typically, most meditation techniques focus on breathing. There's nothing special about it, but it is useful to use as an anchor to the present moment simply because the physical sensation of breathing is always there. So if your mind ever Ever strays to a random thought, emotion, or sound, you can simply refocus again back to the next breath. Ready to start meditation? Let's go! Thank you for gifting yourself these next few minutes. It's important to know that you are a priority, and even allowing yourself a few minutes of intention reflection can have a positive impact on the rest of your day. 1. Sit comfortably. Whatever you are sitting on, find a spot that gives you a stable, solid, comfortable seat. 2. Notice what your legs are doing. If on a cushion, cross your legs comfortably in front of you. If on a chair, it is good if your feet are touching the floor. 3. Straighten your upper body, but do not stiffen. Your spine has natural curvature. Let it be there. 4. Relax your arm. Position your upper arms parallel to your upper body. Rest the palms of your hands on your legs or wherever that feels most natural. 5. Soften your gaze. Lower your chin a little and let your gaze fall gently downward. It's not necessary to close your eyes. If something distracts you visually, just move away or avoid focusing on it. 6. Feel your breathing. Bring your attention to the physical sensation of breathing as the air slowly moves through your nose or mouth the rising and falling of your belly or your chest. 7. Be kind about your wandering mind. It is inevitable you may find your mind wandering constantly. That's normal too. Instead of wrestling with your thoughts, practice observing them without reacting. Come back to your breath over and over again without judgment or expectation. 8. When you are ready, gently lift your gaze. If your eyes are closed, open them. Take a moment and notice any sounds in the environment. Notice how your body feels right now. Notice your thoughts and emotions. As you practice this more regularly, the results will accrue. There may be more situations where you cannot be seated. In such a situation, you may want to consider the following exercises. Body scan meditation. Lie on your back with your legs extended and arms at your sides, palms facing up. Focus your attention slowly and deliberately on each part of your body, in order, from toe to head or head to toe. Be aware of any sensations, emotions, or thoughts associated with each part of your body. Walking meditation. Find a quiet place 10 to 20 feet in length and begin to walk slowly. Focus on the experience of walking, being aware of the sensations of standing, and the subtle movements that keep your balance. When you reach the end of your path, turn and continue walking, maintaining awareness of your sensations. You can also combine mindfulness meditation when doing yoga. The benefits. Practicing mindfulness through meditation need not be time consuming. Just five minutes a day and you can experience significant benefits. According to a Harvard article on positive psychology, mindfulness can improve your physical and mental health. 
On improving physical health, scientists have discovered that mindfulness techniques help improve physical health in several ways. Mindfulness can help relieve stress, treat heart disease, lower blood pressure, reduce chronic pain, improve sleep, and alleviate gastrointestinal difficulties. On improving mental health, in recent years, psychotherapists have turned to mindfulness meditation as an important element in the treatment of several problems, including depression, substance abuse, eating disorders, couples conflicts, anxiety disorders, and obsessive compulsive disorder. According to Professor John Kabat-Zinn, founder of the Stress Reduction Clinic, the effects of mindfulness meditation tend to be dose-related. The more you do, the more effect it usually has. Most people find that it takes at least 20 minutes for the mind to begin to settle, so this is a reasonable way to start. If you are ready for a more serious commitment, he recommends 45 minutes of meditation at least six days a week. Make the connection. Got some suggestions or sharing on how to practice mindfulness in our daily life? I look forward to learning from you in the comments section below. I hope that after this lesson, you understand the need and benefits of mindfulness. If you want to take a guided mindfulness meditation with Zencat, check out the rest of our videos where we can do it together. Just hit that like and subscribe button and check it out.